Japan has greenlit a plan to sell future next-generation fighter jets to other countries. Its latest move from the pacifist principles the country adopted at the end of the Second World War. The decision to allow international arms sales is expected to help secure Japan's role in a year-old project to develop a new fighter jet together with Italy and the United Kingdom. It's also part of a move to build up Japan's arms industry and bolster its role in global affairs. For now, Tokyo says it doesn't plan to export co-developed lethal weapons other than the new fighters, which aren't expected to enter service until 2035. Here's a look at what the latest change is about and why Japan is rapidly easing weapons export rules. On March 26, the cabinet approved a revision to its guidelines for selling defense equipment overseas and authorized sales of the future jet. The government says that it has no plans to export other co-developed lethal weapons under the guidelines and it would require cabinet approval to do so. Japan has long prohibited most arms exports under the country's pacifist constitution, although it's begun to take steps towards a change amid rising regional and global tensions. In 2014, it began to export some non-lethal military supplies and last December, it approved a change that would allow sales of 80 lethal weapons and components that it manufactures under licenses from other countries back to the licensors. The change, which was made in December, cleared the way for Japan to sell US-designed Patriot missiles to the United States, helping replace munitions that Washington is sending to Ukraine. The decision on jets will allow Japan to export lethal weapons it co-produces to other countries for the first time. Japan is working with Italy and the United Kingdom to develop an advanced fighter jet to replace its aging fleet of American-designed F-2 fighters and the Eurofighter Typhoons used by the UK and Italian militaries. Japan, which was previously working on a homegrown design to be called the FX, agreed in December 2022 to merge its effort with a British-Italian program called the Tempest. The joint project, known as the Global Combat Air Programme, is based in the UK and hasn't yet announced a new name for its design. Japan hopes the new plane will offer better sensing and stealth capabilities amid growing tensions in the region, giving it a technological edge against regional rivals China and Russia. In its decision, the cabinet said the ban on exporting finished products would hinder efforts to develop the new jet and limit Japan to a supporting role in the project. Italy and the UK are eager to sell the jet to recover development and manufacturing costs. UK's Defence Minister has repeatedly said Japan needs updating to not cause the project to stall. Kishida sought cabinet approval before signing the GCAP agreement in February, but it was delayed by resistance from his junior coalition partner, the Buddhist-backed Komeito Party. Exports would also help boost Japan's defence industry, which historically has catered only to the country's self-defence force, as Kishida seeks to build up the military. Japan began opening the door to some exports in 2014, but the industry has still struggled to win customers. The change also comes as Kishida is planning a state visit to Washington next month, where he is expected to stress Japan's readiness to take a greater role in military and defence industry partnerships. Japan sees China's rapid military build-up and its increasing assertiveness as threats, especially growing tensions in the East and South China Seas. Japan also sees increasing joint military exercises between China and Russia around Japan as a threat. Because of its wartime past as an aggressor and the devastation that followed its defeat in World War II, Japan adopted a constitution that limits its military to self-defense and long maintained a strict policy to limit transfers of military equipment and technology and ban all exports of lethal weapons. Opposition lawmakers and pacifist activists have criticized Kishida's government for committing to the fighter jet project without explaining to the public or seeking approval for the major policy change. Recent polls show public opinion is divided on the plan. To address such concerns, the government is limiting exports of co-developed lethal weapons to the jet for now. 
and has promised that no sales will be made for use in active wars. If a purchaser begins using the jets for war, Japan will stop providing spare parts and other components, Defense Minister Minoru Kihara has said. Potential markets for the jet include the 15 countries with which Japan has defense partnership agreements, such as the United States, Germany, India and Vietnam. More weapons and components could be added to the approved list under the new export guidelines. When Kishida goes to Washington in April, he is likely to talk to US leaders about potential new defense and weapons industry cooperation. The new policy could also help Japan push for a bigger role in alliances and regional defense partnerships like AUKUS. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.